Hello everyone and welcome to Romance Detective. This is another visual novel created by Nam Nam Nami. Oh my god, I love her visual novels, I love her games. I'm gonna go and play another one of them. I should keep going with Syrup in the Ultimate Suite, I'm not. 10.30 a.m. Love Bloom City Art Museum. Okay, it's Romance Detective. I'm pretty sure all of these are girls in this game. What should I give her a voice? Love is the world's most powerful force. You can drive people mad. Make them do terrible things, and when they do... Well then... <laughs> I, Romance Detective, vow to carry out romantic justice. That's a very quiet voice. Huh. Well, this is a sight police officer. Um, excuse me, ma'am. This is a crime scene, no civilians allowed. Um, don't, don't, don't worry. I'm a detective. Uh, detective, in that case, may I see your badge? Um, this, this rose should be proof enough. Yes, yes, perfect proof. And plus a little rose on, or not a rose, a little heart with the paper or something on top of the hat, yeah. And that, that'll work, I think that's good enough, yeah. I'm, I'm going to need to see your badge, please, yes. Badges are superficial, they are unnecessary. I solve crimes of passion. I, I see. Well, I think you should leave this one to the police. Oh, oh, oh police chief. Okay. Is there a problem, Chris? Uh, Chris? Okay. <laughs> of course, being creative with names, I see. <laughs> I need you. I need you gathering evidence. Oh, if it isn't the one and only romance detective. When did you get here? You know this woman, chief? Of course. She's got quite a reputation around here. Plus, we went to high school together. Of course you did. Of course you did. I had no idea. She was trying to enter a crime scene without showing her badge, so I thought... Don't worry about it. You're still new. Now what can I do for you, detective? I've come to solve this case of love. Oh, what amazing and romantic miracles we have going on. <laughs> love, huh? Then, Chris, why don't you help her out? I'm guessing this one right here is a male, so the one with the, the police chief. Huh? Why don't you change? I thought you would change your name to Chris by now. You heard me. I'm assigning you to be her partner for this case effective immediately. Okay. Huh? Okay, uh, you don't look pleased with this. You do not look pleased with this at all. Excellent. You are now a romantic romance cop. <laughs> What, wait, you can't just change my title. Well, it's official. Come, my subordinate. Where are we going? To investigate. But we are already at the crime scene, Chief. Are you sure about this? You have your, you have your orders, romance cop. <laughs> Ch Chief, hurry up and brief her on the case. I'm sure you two will bring that vase back in no time. I'm counting on you. Police Chief, you, you look... You did not look pleased, and yeah, I gave you a pleasing voice. <laughs> but, I, I mean, just like that. I, I guess if the chief trusts her, I might as well, but, um, okay. All right, one more thing. Rose was attached to romance cop's pocket. Oh, how adorable. Ah, what's this rose for? It comes with the title. All right, oh, uh, okay. Um, all right. Now then, a vase was stolen, correct? Yes, that, that's right, a one-of-a-kind vase. Everything's one-of-a-kind nowadays, like, literally, like, I get, like, some, I don't know, um, something, I don't know, <laughs> something's one-of-a-kind, I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to give an example. It was taken at around 10 p.m. last night. The thief made it past all of the museum's security measures, but for some reason, the vase was the only thing they stole. Those are the facts so far. If you'd like me to explain anything further, go ahead and ask away. Oh, thief stolen vase security. Okay, interrogation. Um, let's go for the stolen vase. Tell me more about the vase. It was donated to the museum sometime last week by a local antique collector. The artist is unknown. Ooh, beautiful vase. This is what it looks like. I, I hope you just drew that or some picture. Because there's no way you could just give a perfect exclamation about it. Details of the stolen vase were jotted down in your notebook. Okay. 
You better have just told us this. <laughs> There's no way we wouldn't know if I notice visually. <laughs> it isn't particularly expensive compared to the rest of the museum's collection, so we don't think the thief intended on selling it. The design is beautiful. You like it? The color is nice, but I think the heart is a little much. I don't know why anyone would steal something so gaudy. Now look at me, I'm not the one who stole it. Oh, the, the change in art. The change. It would make a nice centerpiece. You stole it. You stole it. How could you? You could you? How could you? You stole it. You know? Did I hurt her feelings? No, you didn't. She's a thief security. Let's go for the security and leave for thief last. Was there anything on the security cameras? Probably not in security these days. What the hell? No, a few of them were tempered. What? But there isn't anything wise. Useful, we can gather from the footage. You would think a place like this would have a better system in place, right? It's unfortunate, but understandable. This city's crime rate is very low. Very low, yet we have a crime right here. No. But I didn't expect something like this would ever happen. Only stealing a single vase. What kind of motive could this thief possess? I don't know. Let's just check on the thief now. Are there any suspects? I don't know. Are there? Not yet, but the thief did live, live, leave one thing behind, and I forgot. Okay, well, how do I go behind again? Um, page down? Nope, forget about that, but, well, see for yourself. Okay, romance spelled with an S, thief, and I don't know if that's spelled correctly either. <laughs> yep, that's spelled wrong. Now the thief's calling card has been added to your items. I don't know how to, oh, do you check items there? Okay. Exclamation point, exclamation point, um... By the looks of it, our culprit might be a grade schooler. Okay. We can't assume that. It might be a trick. Not that I was serious about it in the first place. But their name is written in crayon. And the words are misspelled. Really. What else is there for us to gather? Something bigger might be in a play. Bigger than us. Bigger than this city. Making assumptions like that already. Wow. Don't trust anything. A romance cop. This is the work of my adversary. Yeah. After all, <laughs> adversaries, there's some sort of kind of ongoing rivalry between you and this thief. Wow, I miss, I, well, um, no, this is the first I've heard of them. Liar, you know these people. You know these people. Oh, huh, right then. However, by using the word romance in their title, clearly they mean they challenge me. A challenge I'll gladly take. Okay, now you're the one making assumptions. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we just moved, like, zero inches, so... Well, that's everything I know. We've been investigating all morning, but there aren't a lot of clues to be found. The thief is pretty good. Or the adversary, indeed. This detective is definitely odd, but I'm glad she's at least taking this job seriously. Um, hey, before I forget, I'm sorry about earlier. I just transferred to the city, so I hadn't heard anything about you. Well, why not? Like, I'm everywhere. Like, don't you hear me? Uh, like, I'm, I'm on the news. Like, seriously. No, no, don't apologize. Like, I, I must work harder to be known worldwide. That way such a thing would never happen again. I lost her voice. <laughs> right. Well, good luck with that. Anyway, I think it's about time we take a break. There's a ca cafe across the street. Would you care to join me at lunch? A lunch date? I accept. Okay, good. I didn't mean like a date or anything. I just thought you might be hungry anyways. Like, let's go. Oh, don't freak out. She's just in tea. Oh, no, shut up. Shut up, you top part. Oh, I like this guy. I like this guy. Oh, okay. How do I word this guy? Hey, you two. You're cops, right? I am... I am merely a detective. However, my subordinate does happen to be a member of the police force. Please don't introduce me as your subordinate. We're supposed to be partners. Okay. Regardless, you're trying to find whoever robbed the museum last night, am I correct? Um, yes, that's right. In that case, I may or may not have some intel for you. Turning this down, I can know you can see that, but who really cares? Sir, so if you'd know something about the case, it would be best if you just went ahead and told us. Yes, please. Well, with that attitude, maybe I don't know anything after all. Have a nice day, ladies. Wait. Oh, so you are interested, hmm? 
Detective, we can't go around cutting deals with such a shady character. We can't find a thief without his help. Yeah, we should hear him out. Okay, fine. You can start by telling us who you are exactly, please. I am Lup Lupin. Lupin. What a freaking name, okay? <laughs> and that's not what's important here. I need something from you, see? Of course. <laughs> A poster was suddenly shoved in your face. Hey, hey, you see this? Hey, you see this poster right here? Like, you, you see this? This is, I want to see this. There's a certain concert tonight that I absolutely must acquire a ticket to. If you can get me one, I might be willing to talk. Willing? So if we give you a concert ticket, you might not talk to us. It's like a 50-50 chance. You could, but you could not. It depends if you are interested. An impossible task. Let's go, romance cop. Oh, come on. I want you. I want you. Come on. Come on. Sorry, sir, but it looks like you're out of luck. No, see, that's exactly why I'm asking you. I know you've got connections. Oh, well, what's with the face? And I was gone for a few seconds, so I've got the voices, so oh no. Oh no. I don't know what you're talking about. Please stop following us. Where was he following us? <laughs> but I can help you, I swear. I saw them. I saw them last night. The thief. Just give me a ticket to Canary's concert, and I can tell you more. Please, please, I want to go see her. Please, I have to go to the concert. I already made all the preparations. I have to see Canary. I love her. Please, please, I have to see her. I love you, say. If you're such a big fan, you should have bought a ticket in the advance, like everyone else. They were already sold out by the time. Oh, look, it doesn't matter. Give me a ticket, and I'll tell you everything I know. And it ends up being nothing. He knows nothing at all. Leave it to us. What, detective? You can't be serious. This is a case of love, romance cop. It's our duty to solve it. Thank you. My only duty is to uphold the law. Not get concert tickets for some shady fanboy. Romance cop, we must forsake this love-struck man, even if his intentions are questionable. Oh god, enough verbal abuse! Here's my address. Bring me a ticket by 3 o'clock or the deal's off. We can deal with this guy. Oh, you serious? Are you sure about this, detective? That man could hold the key to solving this case. Totally. And what if he doesn't? We'll solve it on our own. Totally. Hmm. Well, if you're that set on it, I suppose I have no choice. So that's not like we have any other leads. We must find him a ticket. Well, I'll have to leave. He's probably not going to tell us anything. <laughs> oh, don't worry about that. I'll just give him mine. You're a fan? I'm, I'm, why didn't you freaking give him a ticket earlier? Like, seriously. <laughs> You're a fan and unexpected twist. Are you freaking... No, no, it's not like... No, I'll, I'll, I'll explain it over lunch. Really? <sighs> seriously. Seriously. Uh, you couldn't have just said I have a ticket You couldn't have just said I have a ticket I'll hand it to you now so we can just talk about this now No, I'll wait until after lunch to give him this ticket possibly No, we have to make this complicated, don't we? Okay I'm not normally upfront about this sometimes and People can get weird when they find out you're related to a celebrity But Canary is actually my cousin And whether I try to hide it or not We look enough alike that it usually comes up anyway I wasn't really paying attention, so... <laughs> Upon closer inspection, you do have the same face. Show me the poster again, I need a look. The item's here. Hey, it does look similar. This looks like, um... Oh, who is it? Um... Uh, uh, the, um, the angel from Friendly Bunny Mochi. Um, who was it? Uh, Ele Elena? Eleni? Eleni? I think it was Eleni, right? Ah, uh, no, no. Ah, uh, no, no. She's much cuter than me. She's an idol, after all. Yep. You mustn't speak ill of yourself, romance cop. It's only the truth. I'm mature enough to admit my shortcomings. I don't know how much I'm going to quarter this. I don't know. Anyway, now you know one of my secrets. Can I ask you something in your turn? Yes. Your rose. Do you ever take it out? I mean, doesn't it get in the way while you're eating? I've had this very rose in my mouth from birth. Huh. Cool. Really, wouldn't that have withered away by now? As long as there is love in this world, this rose will never die. That's a beautiful thing. How romantic. Even if it doesn't bother, 
even if it doesn't really make any sense. It's a lovable little rose you have in your mouth, huh? It seems you still haven't you still have much to learn, romance cop. Wasn't you like a police officer before? Um, and of course, I just now realized she's eating a donut. Wow. Wow. You're always acting so mysterious. Of course, I get confused. I'd understand better if you spoke more plainly every once in a while, you know? Yeah, right? I know. Now then, let's get going. I just hope that Lupin guy can actually help us out. Lupin. Lupin. Lupin Lupin. Strange garage. No, it's not just a garage. It's a strange garage. Hi, really? Welcome to my lab. Now hand over the ticket. No, I don't. I wish you'd ask politely, but here. Okay. Okay, item details. Concert ticket. A ticket to the concert. We can say never mind and not even give it to him. <laughs> you know what? We'll be nice. We'll be nice and give him the freaking kit. A real ticket to Canary's concert. Excellent. Now I can. Excuse me, but it's time to hold up your end of the deal. Hmm, what, what? You said you saw the thief last night. Tell us who it is already. Uh, I told. I knew it. I knew this guy was lying. Oh, oh yeah. I, made, I made it all up. I just wanted to see Canary. So, this was a waste of time after all. What in the world possessed you to lie to the police? My deep feelings of love, they spoke to me through telepathy. Yes, my love for Cal Canary drove me to this. The path to true love is what you seek. Lies will only so serve you to lead you to astray, and I said that wrong. Oh my god. What do you know? Now that I can get to that concert, my feelings will definitely reach her. Well, and since you two did end up being kind enough to bring me a ticket, I guess you... Oh, you won. You guess? My skills may actually come in handy for you. I'm a scientist, you know. I, I, you, you look like an evil guy or movie I will never watch. That's what you look like. Like some evil like cartoon character that I will never get behind, all right? Okay, that's enough. This is obstruction of justice. You're under arrest. I thought this might happen. So I've already prepared my escape. You're still here. Well, okay. You won't stop me from seeing my sweet canary. <laughs> a smoke bomb? Shoot, where do you run to? Um, evading arrest. Is there something causing his love to grow so twisted? Are you serious? I think this. Are you serious now, romance detective? A, a criminal. And you like, oh my god. His love. You just committed a crime, but his love. Oh my god. I think that's just the kind of person he is. You heard what he said, right? His love for Canary spoke to him. He's crazy. No, he's crazy. His love spoke. What? What? No, no. I don't think he meant it literally. His phrasing was strange. He called it telepathy. You, you really shouldn't take that guy so seriously. <laughs> Romance cop, you dare? Oh, it's this guy. How did I speak like him? Chief. The vase just turned up. You need you two to retrieve it. Okay. Yes, ma'am. It was a girl. Oh, oh, oh um, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, cough, cough, um, cough, 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 cough. Oh, nom, 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 you don't get offended at all. Don't kill me. Okay, if this guy is not a guy, someone freaking hit me. I don't know.